We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Paul, a slave of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle and set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised previously through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures. The gospel about his son descended from David according to the flesh, but established a son of God in power according to the spirit of holiness. True inter true resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, we have received the grace of apostle, apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of his name among all the Gentiles, among whom are you also, who are called to belong to Jesus Christ. To all the beloved of God in Rome, called to be holy, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has made known His salvation. The Lord has made known His salvation. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made his, known, his salvation known in the sight of the nations. He has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has made known his salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of your God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all ye lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has made known his salvation. Please stand. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While still more people gathered in the crowd, Jesus said to them, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it, except the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. 
at the judgment, the Queen of the South will rise with the men of this generation and she will condemn them because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon and there is something greater than Solomon here. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it because of the preaching of Jonah they repented and there is something greater than Jonah here brothers and sisters the gospel of the Lord praise to you Lord Jesus Christ please be seated magandang umaga po muli sa ating lahat with the advent and the Glorification of, of, of telecommunications. Tayong mga tao ngayon sa society natin, maraming boses na naririnig. Iba-ibang boses. Ang dali-dali na lang kasing pakinggan. Just a click on your phone or your tablet or your, or your laptop. Meron ka nang maririnig na boses. At ang dami-daming boses na mapapakinggan mo. Meron dyan, totoo. Meron ding hindi. Exactly, mas marami pa yatang hindi, no? kaya kumakalat ang fake news. Eh, kasi nga, um, nandun yung, ano na yun eh, yung venue na yun na marami tayong pwedeng pakinggan. Gone were the days na ang hirap-hirap makarinig ng balita galing sa malayo. The, that was way, way before. Ngayon, ang dali-dali lang. Na ngayon, because of this, of this situation, I'm thinking... Could this affect with us, especially as Christians, pagdating sa pakikinig natin sa boses ng ating Panginoong Diyos? Pwede kayang maka-apekto yun. Sa dinami-dami ng pinapakinggan natin, sa pang araw-araw na buhay natin, tanungin nga natin ang ating mga sarili. Narinig pa din ba natin ang boses, ang tinig, ng ating Panginoong Diyos. Ang sabi dito sa sa ating uh, sa praise ng Alleluia, no? If today you hear His voice, harden not your hearts. So the question is, do you still hear His voice? In the gospel that we heard today, our Lord Jesus Christ spoke about the sign of Jonah. And who was Jonah? Jonah is a story about listening to the voice of God. He's a story about listening to the voice of God. I think everyone is familiar with Jonah, hindi ba? He was called to be a prophet by God. And he was asked and he was sent by God to mission, to go to Nineveh, to proclaim the good news of God to the people there. Ngayon si Jonah natakot. Kasi ang alam niya, mahirap yung mga tao sa lugar na yon. Kaya kahit narinig niya yung boses ng ating Panginoong Diyos na pumunta ka sa lugar na yon, ipahayag mo ang mabuting balita. Anong ginawa ni Jonah? He went the other way. Sumakay sa bangka o sa barko, naglayag sa dagat, palayo. Papunta sa pinakamalayong lugar. Thinking, nakakatawa nga ito si Jonah, thinking na hindi na siya o hindi na niya maririnig ang boses ng Diyos kapag ka lumayo na siya. But that is not the case. That is not the case. You see, our interaction with God is an exercise of our spirit. It is an exercise of our spirit. And the spirit has its own physics. Alam natin yung physics, ano? Yung law of physics. Pag meron kang hinulog na batong, lalaglag yan, that's physics. Pagdating sa spirituality, pagdating sa buhay spiritual natin, meron din physics yun. Halimbawa, kapag ka hindi mo pinupuno ng nourishment yung spiritual life mo, the words of God, 
with the sacraments, merong epekto yan sa spiritual na buhay natin. That's physics. Ayaw ng Diyos na ano mangyari yun. Hindi ka gustuhan ng Diyos yun. Pero dahil yun yung ginusto natin, eh, nagkakaroon ng trouble yung spiritual life natin. Na ganun ang nangyari kay Jonah. He went away. Gusto niyang takasan ang boses ng Diyos. Ganun ang nangyari. Then the violent storm came. That with that violent storm, he was even able to think about sacrificing himself. Kasi nakita niya, siya yung dahilan eh. Spiritual physics. Mayroon siyang ginawa sa spiritual na buhay niya. Gusto niyang putulin o anong naging nangyari. Anong nangyari. Hindi lang siya yung naapektuhan, ano? Even the people around him in that boat, they were all scared of the violent storm. Dahil lang sa kanya. Uh, very similar din yan sa atin. Kaya, eh, ganun talaga eh. Konektado tayong lahat. Kaya kapag ka, narinig natin, may isang paring nagloko. O di ba, apektado tayong lahat bilang isang simbahan. O kapag ka, narinig natin na yung tatay ng pamilya ay eh, nagloko o ano nangyayari di ba apektado yung pamilya that was also the same case with Jonah nagloko tumakas lumayo sa Diyos ayaw marinig ang boses ng Diyos eh, hindi lang siya yung naapektuhan lahat ng mga nakapaligid sa kanya o kasama niya doon sa bangka naapektuhan that is why he asked throw me overboard Ganon ka-desperate yung situation. Ganon ka-desperate yung situation. Throw me overboard. Kaya tinapon siya. But the good news is, my dear brothers and sisters, is this, that even if Jonah ran away from the voice of God, Our Lord and our God never stopped in reaching out to Jonah. Kaya nga ipinadala niya yung isda na magliligtas kay Jonah. That for three days and three nights, Jonah was in the belly of the whale. Para iligtas siya para hindi malunod. Ibig sabihin, hindi pa rin siya pinabayaan ng Diyos. Kahit na tinalikuran na niya yung boses ng Diyos, ang Diyos natin nandun pa rin sa Kanya to save Him. And not just to save Him, to prepare Him to the mission that was originally intended for Him. Napunta sa Ninive. Kaya nga, He was three days in three nights. Symbolically, pwede natin isipin si Jonah went under a formation. Para siya nag-retreat. Ano nangyari after three days and three nights? He went to Nineveh whom he thought the people were stubborn and difficult to be with. Ano nangyari? And he started preaching Everyone, everyone, nakakatawa nga kwento eh. Everyone, including the animals, started following His words. Started listening to His voice. Simula sa hari ng lugar ng Ninive hanggang sa mga hayop nila. Sumunod sa salita ni Jonah. That in the, in, in the life of Jonah, God was always there. His voice was always present in his life. Kahit pa lumayo siya sa Diyos. Kaya ang ganda ng kwento ni Jonah. Bakit? Bakit maganda? Eh kasi di ba, ganun din yung kwento natin. 
sa maraming pagkakataon, tayo si Jonah. Tayo si Jonah. Na narinig natin ang boses ng Diyos. Pero nang ginawa natin, lumayo pa rin tayo sa Kanya. We went wayward to the farthest corner of the world para mapalayo lang sa Diyos. Ayaw nating marinig ang boses niya. Bakit? Ang hirap eh. Ang hirap eh. But that's how it is. God wants something that is best for us. And we know anything that is something good and best is not something easy to get. Pinaghihirapan. Pinagsusumikapan. Hindi ba? Hindi natin dinadaya yun. Kung yung eleksyon nadadaya, itong kabutihan ng Diyos hindi pwedeng dayain. We have to go through the cross in order for us to rise again after three days. That's how it is. God intended something what is best for Jonah, and not just for Jonah, but for the people around him. And that is what God wants for all of us. Thus, His voice continues to resound, not only in our ears, but most especially in our hearts. Because listening to God is not only just through the ears, but through the heart. Kaya sa panahon natin na maraming, maraming boses tayong naririnig, ang tanong ko po, naririnig pa po ba natin ang boses ng Diyos? O baka naman, pag narinig natin, tinatakbuhan din natin kagaya ni Jonah. Kung meron mga mga pagkakataong ganun, huwag po tayong mag-alala. Kasi, nandyan pa rin ang Diyos na patuloy na, to re, na, patuloy na nagre-reach out sa atin. And hopefully, as our Lord continues to reach out His grace upon us, magkaroon sana tayo ng point of formation. Para ba yung nasa belly tayo ng whale for three days and three nights? To fill our spiritual lives with the grace of God. So that when we hear again His voice, we will be ready in following His mission towards our brothers and sisters. Magsitayo po tayong lahat. We turn in prayer to God the Father for the grace to change our lives and our hearts and to respond firmly to Christ's call for repentance. In every petition, let our answer be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the hearts of all men and women may be converted to the Lord, who calls the world to repentance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that we may accept the full message of the gospel, including those sayings that speak of trouble and the cross. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That like the citizens of Nineveh, we may renounce our evil ways and turn to God with a humble and contrite spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the sick and the elderly may find security and love from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may find peace and happiness in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now in the silence of our hearts, 
we offer our personal and our particular intentions and we also pray for the intentions of this Mass. Father of all, you gave us the sign of Jonah to foreshadow the coming of your Son, as from all eternity you willed his resurrection. Associate us with him forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord, holy Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are, are full, full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the in highest. highest. Blessed, blessed is he who comes, comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the in highest. highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, 
until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Dominic and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to pray. Our Father, Our Father who art who in, art heaven, in heaven, heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, the Son of Mary. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bago po tayo magtapos ng misa, ako po yung magpapasalamat sa ating lector commentator, sa ating acolyte ng Eucharistic Minister, at sa inyong lahat po na nakiisa sa misa ito. Maraming maraming salamat. Ingat po tayo sa ating pag-uwi at tawabaw ninyo pong pagpapala ng ating Panginoong Diyos sa pamamagitan ng ating mahal na ina, ang Birhen ng Santo Rosario Nagmanawag. Muli po, maraming maraming salamat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We all go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of our rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that, in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles our devotees and pilgrims be blessed and made holy in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen, amen.